Look who got her Alphalete order in. Guys, I'm already wearing a pair of the biker shorts to the gym today. These colors are so pretty. And honestly, it's so hot, like high 80s, 90s here, that I don't want to be wearing freaking full length leggings and sometimes the short shorts in a gym is just a little too short for me so it's like let me go ahead and get some of these biker shorts this is the color wisteria which i really loved and i wish i could have got them in the full length leggings but y'all know they sell out so quick um so i got those i wear a size small and then i also got this color which is thundercloud so pretty i have the matching long sleeve crop top for this as well and i also got this sports bra from the amplify i got this one in a size small and they do have like pads in them and i also ordered extra small which is the one i'm wearing right now so i feel like i could wear both this one just covers the side boob a little bit more so yeah i definitely have some side boobage in the extra small but the back of these oh my god they make your back look so good so for upper body day Ooh, girl, definitely want to be wearing these. And they're very stretchy. I didn't know how I felt about this. But after trying it on, it's super stretched, just like the bottoms, if you have those. And it has, like, a matching ruched detail like the shorts do in the bum. Of course, they have the booty scrunch. And they make the glutes look so good. So I love these sets. And I think these actually go so well together, just mixing and matching them. This is the shade Viola. By the way, sorry, I still have yet to unpack from New York. I will do that after the gym. Um, but yeah, they're so simple, solid colors. I feel like I should be sponsored by them. But it really is all that I like to wear, and it's what I feel the most comfortable in. It's really flattering for my body, and I just love them. Like, it's just nothing crazy in your face. And because that wasn't enough, I got this in today and cut the tag off. I found a new with tags Alphalete sports bra on Poshmark. And I can't remember which one this is called. Um, but I got this in an extra small. I'm going to take the padding out. I'm not a huge fan of the cups in here. But the back is so strappy. I love this. It just, again, flatters your back so much. And the color is so pretty. I just felt like for spring and summer, these colors would be perfect for my little wardrobe. I felt like I had too many muted out tones. So I had to brighten everything up. So, yeah, I can really find some good pieces on Posh. I'll link down below my Poshmark code. If you guys want to shop them, you can save $10 off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. If you want to, I'm always on there looking for things that I can't get that happen to be sold out that, you know, people don't want to return, so they'd rather just list it on their store instead, which I totally get. Good morning. Here are your vibes. Let's get ready for the gym right now. I need to eat a little something because my stomach is yelling at me. But I have exciting news, you guys. Today I discovered that I can put my hair in like a, a messy bun like my go-to that i used to always do before i big chopped and i'm like dang my hair really is growing <laughs> because i used to just do the puffs religiously and i i was thinking like why does it not look the same anymore my puffs were flopping like they were not you know growing up anymore my hair is growing down now which is such an exciting phase so i don't know if you guys want me to do uh what month are we seven month post big chop update i feel like i might film that today if i have the energy after my workout but i'm going in with my alani new pre i'm almost done with this i'll probably finish it off honestly by the end of this week and i want to try a different flavor so let me know your favorites i have a hawaiian shaved ice here actually just reminded myself but this one that i've been taking is the breezeberry which it is super sunny this is really good. I definitely would rebuy this. It's nice and tart, which is my favorite flavor. I don't like the sweet ones. I like the tart and the sour flavors. So we gonna need a big old scoop. I wanna do full body today. Yes, ma'am. But here, look at my little ponytail bun situation. It's like a messy bun. I'm so excited and I love that for me. <laughs> I can't wait to get to my one year. We're almost there, we're almost there. You know when you've been watching too much of the circle and you start talking like Chloe? <laughs> I'm almost done with that season. I need to finish it today. I was dozing off last night. But I'm heading to the gym. I can't leave. There's like a freaking forklift thing blocking the um, street. So I don't know what the heck's going on.
I definitely got a tan. I know this light is not popping, but you guys can see how quick I tan. Cash me hiking every day. Not really hiking, it was more of a walk. I only saw one person out in these streets. Guys, also wash your beverages, especially if you buy them individually on the shelves. You don't know what's on there. So I always wash mine. I have a habit of doing that. Germs. But I am feeling the tan. By the end of this weekend, I'm gonna feel like myself again. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'm about to just log this. This is gonna be super high protein. I'm just having a sandwich right now. And then I'm so hungry. <laughs> That's how I knew. Uh, my dad actually made some shrimp that I have in the fridge, like a leftover plate with rice and then some sauteed veggies. So I'm probably gonna have that. Double workout today, <laughs> 1,133 calories burned. I love that for me. I am here, I'm focused. We are thriving in these streets. Y'all see the tan. <laughs> I need to go buy some bathing suits because we have a pool. Well, not here, but like in our community. And I didn't pack any of my swimsuits. So if you guys have any good places or recommendations for some shops that you guys like, let me know. The pools are about to open. I'm gonna have the best days. Wake up, go to the gym, go for a walk, meditate go to the pool lay out eat sleep repeat <laughs> that's what i'm about to do i'm on a vacation okay mm. i don't have chips with this but i don't buy naughty foods like that oh my god this has 555 calories we are aligned today so i got to go Hey, summer shred day three. We out here. I need to do abs today and I am like not excited. <laughs> First of all, I need to go find my yoga mat and bring it with me to the gym. And I do want to go for another walk. I went walking yesterday. Got a really good soreness to my leg. Could also be the leg day that I did as well. But the sun, the tan, all that, the hot heat. It is hot and it is early in the morning. Uh, well, I was up earlier taking the dogs out and it was already hot. So I have biker shorts on today, which you can't really see. Sports bra, loving. These are Alphalete. I love this color. It's like a raspberry color and it looks really good on my skin tone. So y'all know what's good. I'm about to make my pre-workout and then head to the gym. I'm super excited to get it in. I'm very sore today, just on my legs. I think just from walking so much. I'm trying to think, can I do some cable kickbacks? Ooh, yeah, I think we can get some kickbacks in today. Tone those glutes, snatch this waist. <laughs> Summer is coming and I'm not playing no games. So I'm ready for it. Well, I'm about to be ready for it after I take this pre-workout. Hopefully you dolls join me on this shred challenge, thick edition, or you can do weight loss edition. I have a challenge in the description box if you guys want to pick that up which has daily workouts for you basically a workout split to snatch that waist grow the glutes and then also a guide as well of all the meals just my meal plan that i've been eating for years and it's how i've gotten results and how i stay flat in the stomach and thick in i would say the right areas so check those out 
I'm gonna catch you guys post workout. I think I don't really know where this video is going. It's just really fit week in my life. Summer shred edition. I just did my post on Instagram. Actually, ooh, don't look at my nails. <laughs> I had to do a post basically just talking about summer being 30 days out and how excited I am. This is the motivation I needed. Honestly, crunch time. If you guys are just like me and you procrastinate your life, especially in school, you wait till the last second. Girl, I get so much done when I procrastinate and you have that pressure to get things done or reach a certain goal in a short period of time. I don't know why I'm like that. I just work the best under pressure. Shout out my Virgos. But I feel that same way with gym right now. And I keep saying this, you guys, a lot can change in four weeks, especially if you've never had a routine before and you start something new. Give it four weeks and you're gonna see changes. Obviously, don't give up on yourself the first week in and you think that everything is gonna be dramatically you know different for you because it's not it's gonna take time but four weeks six weeks and two something new you are going to see so many amazing changes and results that will occur with your body because you're kind of shocking it right and it's getting used to doing all these different things you know doing walks which I'm incorporating more into and my body's a little bit sore so it's got to get used to that again but lifting heavier weights your body will adjust and then you can lift heavier the next week like it's just so amazing how fast your body can kind of keep up with the things that you're doing so i wanted to kind of just do a quick little post talking about the start of this shred and then 30 days from today i'll pop back in and do like a little like after what my results were with like photos and stuff like that i love taking pictures and i do not weigh myself i have not weighed myself since i've been bulking and i've been bulking for almost a year like isn't that crazy like I need to do a whole video on my bulk or I could just talk about it really quick I decided last summer after my birthday because I was shredding I was cutting really hard for summer Palm Springs you guys can watch that vlog and I looked really good I really didn't have much shape to me compared to today but I decided then and there F it I want to gain weight like I want to see what's good with this weight gain and what is bulking and I got myself into it in August as soon as I got back from that trip so we are almost in June so June July yeah so nine months I've been bulking and it is a slow process because at least for me I gradually got into it I didn't just start eating 3,000 calories overnight after cutting my calories at that time and of course I was still tracking then very much so but I had to switch things up and see how my body would respond to eating more food how would my body respond to doing more intense workouts from home during quarantine at the time so I had to ease my way into it and gradually add 100 calories every single week and mentally look at myself in the mirror and see how I'm feeling is my stomach you know bloated like what's going on since I personally don't like to weigh myself and judge my results based off of the scale everyone is so different some people personally prefer to weigh themselves every day or once a week girl not me so you will not find me doing that okay so I just base it off of my clothes how they fit how I feel when I look at myself in the mirror how my digestion is working and how my body just feels do I have more energy with the foods that I'm eating do I feel energized after a workout you know am I exhausted do I need to sleep more like I really do tune into what my body is telling me so for me it was definitely a slow process easing my way up from like 1700 calories then gradually going you know 2000 calories and then increasing it and then I did a video I remember this just to see if I could eat 3000 calories in a day and I did it and I felt fine so after I did that video ever since then I just switch my macros over to eating 3,000 calories and here we are so it definitely takes time it's not something that takes like an overnight switch especially when you are trying to get to know your body and that was the biggest part of this journey for me was getting to know my body and how it responds to certain things and what I like what I don't like in the gym like mm, squats I freaking hate squats and there are so many better workouts that you can do to grow your glutes and I am proof of that which I have a video on so I'll pop it up in the cards if you guys want to know my go-to workouts for the booty that don't include any squats actually i should do an updated one because that one was from home during quarantine so let me know if you guys would be interested in my gym leg day routine 
um but yeah that's kind of just like where i'm at and right now like with my goals i do want to continue to bulk in the summer i know people are like oh why are you trying to gain weight in summer and you're trying to wear a bikini well like girl i'm trying to get a big butt so <laughs> leave me alone but i also want to continue to keep up with what i'm doing because my stomach is still very flat and truthfully i need to be adding in some ab workouts that's what i do not like to do it would not be a summer shred challenge thick edition if i didn't do things that i didn't like so that would be ab workouts so i have my yoga mat in the back i'm going to do some ab i have not trained abs and i'm not even kidding you like oh my god like hmm at least all year like i just don't do abs i don't i just feel like you don't really need to i feel like the fat will come off i've said this before when you do other things a lot of workouts i do i'm very focused on mind muscle connection and engaging my core when i am doing things like incline on the treadmill or the stairmaster like i keep my abs tight all the time even when i'm just walking to target like whatever like i don't know i just feel like it's not necessary but also on the other hand i feel like i could have more definition if i actually incorporated two ab days a week into my workout split so i'm gonna try that for this shred and see how that goes for me there's a lot of ab days in my shred challenge if you guys are curious to get it if not just do your own ab workouts whatever and you'll be good so yeah we're gonna do that that's something different that i'm gonna be doing now and keeping the intensity super high because that's for me how i see the best results i think i mentioned this in my last video where i had done my shred um announcement like where i talked about the foods that i ate which i'll link in the cards to get slim thick how i got to this point again it's not something that happened overnight it took a lot of time for me but here we are the dedication the motivation the discipline the waking up and just doing it and not thinking about it really does play a huge role in this journey so girl i'm excited give me four weeks and i think i'm gonna do like weekly updates like maybe once a week we'll do like a fit vlog kind of just document what's going on our progress how we're feeling and what we're eating what we're doing not all the recipes of course um i have a guide for that <laughs> your girl's gotta eat too okay support your girl pick up the guide it's less than your freaking chipotle order okay so actually less than your taco bell order taco bell is expensive do y'all realize fast food is a scam it's so expensive for one meal like i don't understand why oh my god i just had the best leg day oh my gosh so i i just hit a pr i just squatted the whole stack on the cable machine so that was a first and i hit every weight beforehand and did 10 reps of each so i'm not like that bitch you can't tell me nothing <laughs> i'm gonna fill it tomorrow we ain't playing no games guys i feel on top of the world like there's something about challenging yourself and let me just say there was a lot of cuties and i have never in my life squatted a full stack i think it went up to like 72 i logged it but i did each plate starting at where i was which was at 37 and then i did 10 reps of each until i could not do any more and i didn't want to embarrass myself because i've never did that heavy of a weight especially in front of some cuties like i don't want to drop the plate bust my butt whatever embarrass myself but i just went for it and baby girl we did it like i am so proud i never sweated so much i basically just squatted today and did stairmaster for like my warm-up for like 20 minutes and i'm sweating but i am so freaking proud you guys you never know your potential until you push yourself and i was scared but i just said f it go for it i'm trying to get some booty meat like soldier boy said y'all remember that song so i'm just feeling really good i'm going to get a starbucks right now and then i'm going to put on some sunscreen and go for my walk today and just move my body get my steps in and soak up that vitamin d because i'm just feeling so freaking good and accomplished like i hit a pr so i'm really excited for my next session and uh we did not do abs so i might actually do i don't want to say i'm gonna do abs later and then not do them but i don't know i feel like i'd rather just do ab workout in the garage instead of in the gym rolling around on the floor right like that just sounds a lot more sanitary in my opinion 
but I just wanted to check in and let you guys know that you can push yourself past your what you think your limit is because you are stronger than what you believe you are and that's what I realized today on day three of my shred challenge thick edition and I just feel so good so that's my update for today and I don't know I burned how many calories not that it really matters 613 so we're gonna eat good today and keep hydrated and I'll probably take my coffee with me to walk um, and it's usually four miles when I make it to the end and back so let's get it Time to eat. Ooh, I love simple foods these days. So I'm actually gonna make the rest of this organic spaghetti. I need to go back to the market because I'm obsessed with spaghetti with marinara and this is the best, the best pasta sauce, you guys. You don't even need meat. I do like to add a little basil to season it and it's incredible. I love this brand the most. So I'll definitely be back to buy more and uh, it's just really delicious. Let me make sure it's dairy free. Ingredients, whole tomatoes, olive oil, carrots, salt, celery, basil. That's what you want. You want simple ingredients, no fillers, just deliciousness. So I've already weighed mine out. I'm doing two servings of that. And then I actually had this for dinner last night. So I have some pasta left over. It's really quick for meal prep. You just make a big batch of pasta, keep it in the fridge. I'm gonna heat this up and then add some more to it. Carb me up. I love my carbs, you guys. Carbs are energy. I don't think you need to be afraid of them. And carbs are good for the booty. So I haven't always been a pasta person, but I think I don't like pasta with meat sauce. I think that's what it is. Chicken breast or shrimp on the top, great. But ground meat, I don't know. It's just, it's not hitting for me. Plus it's really hard to track meat sauces. This is just a lot easier for me personally. I totally forgot to show you guys my snack. Looks crazy. But I already got into it. I love my protein bagels. This is the Days Killer brand. I think this one is the raisin one or the blueberry, one of the two. This green stuff that you see looks a little sus. It's actually pumpkin seed butter and has eight grams of protein in a little pouch. And I'll definitely be buying the full size. And I just drizzled some honey, pink salt, and some cinnamon. And that's my snack. And by the way, this is the brand. In case you guys want to look for it um i'll be buying more it's very good <laughs> very delicious high protein you could even like take this on the go and just eat it by itself bomb oh my god okay so i got a package you guys from alani new they hit me up i was in new york through instagram and i'm like bro they know who i am <laughs> we've made it let's see what's inside this has whey in it I don't know, but I always hear a lot of girls raving about their protein bars. I should have told them I'm dairy free, but I just assumed they were sending out like a generic box. <laughs> so I'll have to give these to my mom and she'll have to come back and do a review for you guys. But these I think are their protein bars. They do have the best packaging, I'll say that much. Yo, 16 grams of protein, but yeah, it contains milk. Oh, I'm so sad. And it has nuts. Oh, but shout out to them because I guess I've made it. They recognize me from all of my fit videos. Man, I'm so sad. They need to come out with some vegan snacks. I'm just saying. Um, let's see. Let's see. What else do we have? Ooh. A cup. Oh, sorry for the lighting, you guys. We've also got some of their immunity gummies, which is perfect. You guys know I'm all about my immune system. Let's see what this has in it. Vitamin D and vitamin C, 25 calories, two gummies per serve. This I'll definitely try out and give you guys a proper review after I take them, probably for the rest of this 30 days. So that'll come soon. This is what I heard shaking around when the FedEx guy came by. I actually did a vlog not too long ago where I was taste testing these energy drinks and I kind of gave my review. So maybe that's how they found me. I'm not really sure. Again, packaging is bomb. What flavor is this? Cosmic Sun Dust. I've never had that flavor. There's 12 in each pack. I know they sell these at Target stores, GMC, all that good stuff. This has biotin, so I'm like, 
Ooh, like should I drink it? I don't know. That's just the one thing that I'm sensitive towards, but I'll try these out since they're here. I don't like to waste anything and I'm super grateful that they sent these my way. <gasps> breezeberry. I love the breezeberry in the pre-workout, like the dry mix. Um, and that's one of my favorite flavors as well. So this is just the energy drink version. So I'm pretty good on these. It'll probably take me a while to go through them. I don't know if you guys are obsessed with this series. I just started it today. I'm in episode three of The Baker and the Beauty. It's so cute. Little bit of veggies, a lot of protein, a lot of carbs, a little bit of healthy fat. Oh, I did cook the chicken in some avocado oil, which I also logged um, as well. So don't forget to log your oils. They are super high in calories. They're very dense and they stack up really quick. I'm so sad. I thought my watch was charging all night. It turns out it wasn't even uh, plugged in. So that sucks. <laughs> it is day four. I put on my fit today. Feeling cute. I really like the biker shorts actually. It's a great length. You know, it's really hot, don't have to wear full length leggings, and then I don't have to worry about my booty popping out <laughs> at the gym. So, I was just looking at myself in the mirror as I do mental check-in, and your girl's starting to see some abs poke out. So, I think that's a really good sign that my intensity is good, my food is good, my sleep is good, <laughs> and I'm feeling back to myself. It's a good balance between cardio and strength training. I'm not really sore today, despite how much I lifted yesterday. So my thing is right now, what are we gonna do in the gym? I definitely wanna do like full body. I say that, but every time I get in the gym, it changes, it changes into something else depending on what machines are available. But I'll show you guys my fit and my progress, what we're looking like. This is probably gonna be the last day in week one just because I started on a Wednesday when I got back from vacation. So the next vlog will be a lot longer, like a full week um, kind of update, I think, type of vibe. So yeah, that's why it's a little short, <laughs> but just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what's, what's happening. So I am wearing Alpha Leap and this is a size small yesterday i was wearing an extra small and it covers more of the side boob but there's just a lot of extra fabric up here so i don't feel i don't know like it has enough support but the back of these sports bras is so nice so i feel like the sizing is just kind of off if you're in between i don't know and these again are the biker shorts which i like to kind of fold over because my torso is what torso non-existent but i always know when i'm feeling my best first thing in the morning after the bathroom without eating anything maybe a few sips of water to help regulate you know everything going on but whenever i just i don't know i feel not bloated in the morning that's a great sign for me and i am not bloated at all okay i'm feeling really good feeling really strong not feeling sore Today will be my fourth workout in a row. Uh, but yeah, I saw some abs poke out today. Got a little bit of ab. Just a little bit. And that's what I want to kind of bring out more of during this process. For summertime, keep the stomach flat, get some definition while keeping the booty growing. So that's why I need that perfect balance of workouts and lots of food to feed the muscle. So you gotta eat good, you gotta eat right, you gotta eat enough protein, which my protein could be better. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Only had 98 grams yesterday. Could be better. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Kill them. <laughs> Let me stop. These biker shorts are a little bit awkward of a length as well while I'm here doing an update because I don't know, maybe it's just because my legs are ultra long. Like I have extremely long thighs <laughs> which i love that about myself i was born with it i love to see it um but i don't know it makes me look shorter and i'm not trying to look short i'm trying to like emphasize the long legs so i just kind of pull them up a little bit and then that way they're longer than their short shorts they don't ride up i could do cardio without them getting annoying it's just a better fit for me i forgot i needed to get a thumbnail I want y'all to see, ooh, oh my god. Oh my god. My ass is getting big. <laughs> Hold up. Girl, girl, shake that booty meat. Let me stop, okay. <laughs> I need to get a thumbnail and stop playing games. 
Wow, girl, we did that. I don't see myself from the back, so how am I supposed to know what the heck's going on? <laughs> oh my god. Holy moly, okay. That is unposed, by the way. Work out like me. We don't play no games. Two essentials. I don't know why I do this. I always have like an oatmeal, right? And then on the way to the gym, like 20 minutes later, I have a fig bar. Ooh, I hope this is good. It tastes like that trident gum, the cinnamon. Oh, I'm scarred. I want to leave by nine o'clock. That's in 15 minutes. I'm gonna give my watch 15 minutes more to charge while I mix my pre-workout. I down this usually in one session, 1.5 liters. Stay hydrated. That's also how I don't wake up bloated. Literally flushes everything out. Um, I drink a lot of teas. A lot of probiotic drinks, fiber drinks, which actually I want to go. This Alexa is on something. I want to go to Wegmans to get some groceries. Maybe I'll do a haul to conclude today. But I need to get more um, proteins. Because I don't have any more. I need a lot of protein my oats um yeah i make it with water and this one's the low sugar because i don't really like all the how sweet they are you know so this is nice and usually if i want more calories which i like to eat in a surplus i'll add um like a, a nut butter some bananas some honey but before the gym that's too heavy for me that i would like more in the evening time so Literally, this is it. It does the trick. It's a little hot, so. To let it cool. Sorry for the lighting, you guys. The sun is being weird. Me apologizing on behalf of the sun. <laughs> It kind of has like a, a nutmeggy taste. I'm almost out. Ooh, girl, we don't need a little more than that. <laughs> Let me stop playing. I've got a quick Wegmans haul for you guys. Oh my God, tell me why I got these egg rolls. <laughs> this sounded like a really good snack. I don't know. And I love egg rolls and I just... You know never can find them i got this big pack of chicken breast this was like 16 dollars. i got two things of turkey so that's for my sandwiches i love quick proteins like this so i don't have to cook anything and recently i've been into salami on my sandwiches just to help me get some extra um, protein and fats in there i got some spreads today we got a wild and raw honey here because my other one is like thick and it, i feel like it's just not good right now <laughs> spicy brown mustard i'm trying this brand of sunflower butter naturally well it's a crunchy version i'm sorry and this one does contain sugar i do like the taste of the sweetened ones better it's just really good to get those fats in these right here are the best they are a vegan donut which i discovered at my last wegmans run i really want to try the other flavors but this is the only one that they have at my location so you keep them in the freezer and you just defrost them in the microwave when you're ready to have them for 15 seconds and it's amazing so can't wait to have that it helps me get my calories in i'll usually have two of them which is nice this is my favorite sauce you guys saw i had this earlier this week i got the big version i think i had a different hold up now let me double check 
This is the one I had previously. It's a sensitive marinara, and I was looking at the ingredients today. This one doesn't have garlic or onion. So I'm like, what? I need the garlic, I need the onion. So I got the regular one this time, and I've been loving it with just spaghetti, but this time I'm gonna add some chicken as my protein. Already cooked, already ready for me, so I can hit my macros a little bit easier. And I'm trying this brand. I was looking for like an organic pasta. I just feel like it tastes better. And the packaging got me on it. I don't think this one is organic, but it's handcrafted in Italy, so it must be good. And I do like the thicker spaghetti noodles versus the angel hair. So this is six grams of protein per serving. And, oh, it is non-GMO. Look, we love to see it. So I got two of those this round, and then I stocked up on my Ali Pops for this week. And my personal favorite is the vintage cola. It's so good. It tastes just like a soda to me. It tastes just like a Coca-Cola to me. And I'm saying that as a person that doesn't drink soda. So maybe it's comparable to like a diet version because it does have stevia. But this is how I get my fiber in for the day. And it really helps me not get bloated when I'm eating so much. Oh, and I also got some peppermint tea. Another thing that I always have in my day to help with my digestion and to settle my stomach after eating a big meal. I was looking for the Yogi brand, which is my favorite. They always get me with the motivational quotes, but they didn't have those in today. But this was $90, girl. Um, I don't know how, well, I do know how. These are like $2.50 each, which is ridiculous. This was $16. And I just got a lot of um, proteins and stuff. That is my grocery haul. I did a double workout today because my gym boo walked in and I was like, oh no, I cannot leave right now let me flex on it once <laughs> so I started to do more squats and I squatted the whole stack again and I think he saw me and he was like mm. <laughs> but anyway we left the gym at the same time I still have yet to say hello to him and I never really see him like this might have been the fourth time I've seen old boy which is funny to me he's looking really good <laughs> I'm a mess. I did do a full body sesh today. I did upper body, legs, and then I did a warm up on um, the treadmill just to get my body moving. So I was in the gym for two hours. Me covering up my sweated out edges. Um, and then I actually burned 900 calories today. So we got to be eating good. Good. I'm not going for my walk because I did do a double workout. And if I did my walk, girl, that's too much cardio, okay? I'm trying to get a big booty, and that's just doing too much right now. So I'm gonna shower, eat, relax the rest of the day, and probably cut this video short. I had a really good time kind of documenting a week fit, week in my life, starting out for this summer shred, thick edition, and sharing with you guys some foods that I'm eating, grocery haul, workouts, fun workout outfits from Alphalete, and also supplements as well. I haven't had those energy drinks yet, but I think I wanna try one of the other flavors next week. So thumbs up if you guys enjoy. I broke another nail today, gym life. I'm about to take all these off tonight. Um, you just can't have acrylics when you're in the gym. It's fine, really. Um, yeah, so next week, tune in. Week two, we out here getting slim thick for summertime. So definitely subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you dolls don't miss out on my videos. I'm actually gonna chop this up tonight and see if I can get it up on a Saturday. And if I do that, y'all better give me some love in the comments because your girl's tired, okay? <laughs> Bye.